Yuma, a name you probably have heard of. Maybe he introduced you to rhythm games like me. Today we'll be going through the history of Yuma and analyzing his skill. Let's get into it. Yuma is a 4K and 7K hybrid player from Qatar. His first rhythm game was Riven Track, and he played it for some time. Then he got an ad on a certain game you guys might know, Robeats. He tried it out and he got addicted and played it non-stop. He found out about Osu through some Mania videos, and he created his account on the 7th of September 2018. He didn't play it that much because he found a new Robeats community server through Koneko Kitten's video, and he played it, and for some reason he was improving at the speed of light and he uploaded his first video, and it gained a bit of traction but he was still just considered a good player. He started to play more Osumania around September to December 2019. He played 4 stars at the time, he just completely stopped playing Robeats, checking it out every so often, until the beginning of 2019 where he started playing it for fun a lot, and he started skill boosting non-stop from 2019 onwards. He uploaded his first Robeats community server video, he grinded it a lot. He was inspired by players like Danny Major 47 and Miboni. After 1 to 2 months of grinding, he went up the leaderboard very very fast. And on Osu he can do 5 stars now. From May to June 2019, he still kept skill boosting. He was setting leaderboard scores on Osu and Robert. He started gaining popularity by posting full combos on maps that only a few people have FC'd. And then this guy skill boosted again. In 3 to 4 months he went from 8th Dan to near Luminal. Now at this point everyone knew who he was, he kept destroying maps, and he developed a friendly rivalry with the best players at that time, who you guys might know, Jordan1806, Emirates123 who is Xven or Aishteru, and Blood Detector who is Kane Mining. And what do you guys think will happen now? Yes, he skill boosted again and he cleared Gamma Sample in January 2020, being one of the few Robeats Gamma players. He also became a speed main and set scores like Volcanic full combo, Crescent Moon full combo, he also cleared Gamma in February 2022, Delta 0.95 S rank, he was truly one of the players of all time. And on April 1st, he cleared it. Delta. The third ever Robeats Delta player. He set more insane scores like Scattered Fave 99 and Cyber Induction Double Time 98. He streamed on YouTube for the first time on June 4th, 2020, which would be one of his best sessions to date. On this stream, he set scores like Delta 97 17 minutes and Mario Payne D another S rank. He was number one on Robies on this time but he stopped playing it, playing Osu more often. But he got banned around August on Osu, because he used the bot for one of his trolling videos, he forgot he had it on and he used it on a ranked map and got banned immediately. Although this didn't demotivate him, he still kept grinding and grinding until he did it. The first Robies Epsilon. And then he also cleared it on Osu, being the fourth ever clear. And he thought he had reached his peak, so he took long breaks very often. But he quit completely in 2020, and he came back in January 2023. Now that you know his history, let's analyze his skill. Yuma is able to do up to 160 to 170 BPM core jacks and 180 BPM for speed jacks, although he struggles with anchors and break type patterns. He can comfortably do 430 BPM streams, 300 BPM jump streams and 280 for hand streams. He can pretty much do any tick pattern you throw at him, except for anchor tech like Forgotten. Yuma's stamina is absolutely cracked no matter what you throw at him, whether it be jack, speed, tech, dump or any other pattern, he pretty much has unlimited stamina. Accuracy isn't really his strong suit as he can only keep up combo with decent accuracy, he does still have some really good accuracy scores though. Logical stimulus is a very racial chart, dense, stamina draining jacks and the ending is very Mario Pay needs no introduction, very disgusting for 65 BPM streams, and he managed to 98. Cell technique is just that good.
Drop down is a map with bursty streams mixed in with mini jacks, and Yuma operates it to 1.15 and manages to get a 91 somehow. In this entire 4 minute map, there's only one tiny break, and the rest is just 300 BPM jump streams, and Numa double A's it with a 95 on Judge 5. Like, <laughs> just watch. Apparition is an 8 minute map filled in with jacks, jump streams and trills that are very hard to ratio, but not only did Yuma assess, he also got 998k. Make sure to check out Yuma, he is pretty chill, and join my Discord server, and like and subscribe, because why not?